to see the eclipse and hopefully steal a few glances up as we fly the mission. We got a pilot in the front seat and then I'm the equipment operator in the back. And we're in the aircraft, we have a very, very small keyboard um, and a very small mouse and only so many hands to work all the different payloads at the same time. The aircraft that I'm in will go as far as with the path as we can and continue on towards the Arkansas border before we turn back and come land in Houston. We'll be with it for probably six and a half, seven minutes leading up to that. It's just a very long kind of dusk in every direction. And then it goes to an almost a full night effect. So we're looking for a different temperature and variations of the corona on the part of the outside of the sun that you can't normally see your image. It's also looking at what makes up that corona. I think that there'll be a lot of um, discoveries made with this kind of information that we'll be gathering and it's going to open up a lot of doors of different things to look at at future eclipses. Opportunities like this, we're at 50,000 feet for an eclipse or I mean once in a lifetime, right? So I'm very humbled that I get to go and do be part of it. I'm really nervous that I hopefully don't mess up this data collect for all the scientists, right? I'll do my best just like I do at everything else. <laughs>